The week before last, I went to a meeting with the Greater Roanoke Valley Workforce Development Group. Uh, it was about a six hour meeting and the uh, Assistant Secretary to the Secretary of Commerce was there and gave us a presentation and then we had some discussion. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about and did get a chance was to talk about the needs we have in our community. The job skills we need. Uh, and I explained that to them and then last week I met with Total Action for Progress and they do some training but their training consists of using Dabney's CDL program. They'll get you in there and pay for you to do it. Uh, they do uh, phlebotomist, which is a Dabney again, and they get you in there and pay for it. And then uh, CNA class. So those are the three courses that TAP is offering. Dabney is pretty much offering the same thing for work. Mountain Gateway Community Mountain College Gateway. is offering the same thing at some other skills. I think they started a carpentry class. But one of the, some of the things I would ask for to them, and, and I wanted to make sure they heard us, we need OSHA skills training where somebody can go, you need OSHA skills at the mill, Lee? Wouldn't hurt to have the skills before you got there, would it? Uh, flag and certification. It's a simple course, uh, workforce, uh, not workforce, but work zone training to set up the signs and stuff. That's a simple course, but it's necessary. And, and we're not teaching that anymore. I asked uh, both to do a CDL school bus endorsement class. You can get CDL, don't mean you drive school bus. You gotta have a specific endorsement for school bus. Yep. And uh, those are some of the things I talked to them about. I talked to them about the uh, classes for A, B, C, licensed, uh, shoot. When you're doing a job like at 410 on Main, and the contractor has to have an A, B, or C license to qualify to do the work to be fit in with the uh, building inspector stuff. So there's no A, B, or C classes here you can go online and get them yourself, but some people have trouble negotiating that program to get the training they need. So I asked them to do that. Uh, I asked them to expand on the instrumentation program that Dad, or Mountain Gateway has right now. Uh, asked them to expand on the carpentry program. I asked them to start an electrician's program and a plumber's program. Those are all skills that we need in our area. I saw a guy on Facebook posted the other day said he wanted to build a bathroom but there were no licensed contractors that could help him for six months and he wanted to do a nap and that ain't gonna happen cause it, and I understand where he's coming from because that's and you probably know how that goes and people want to work want it now and y'all scheduled those y'all scheduled over around Christmas somewhere so, you know, that's, that's what's going on in the community. We're not able to get the work we need done because we don't have the people trained to do it. So if they're going to start setting up training, we need to do it for what we need, not for what other stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's my soapbox for tonight. I give us. Want a car loan with a little get up and go? Our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Jackson River Community Credit Union. We belong to you. Online at jacksonrivcomcu.org. We're federally insured by NCUA. We're an equal housing lender. We belong to you.